Hi students, in this video we will discuss regarding the optimality tests and the first optimality test that is stepping stone method. Once you have reached at the initial feasible solution by either of the three methods, northwest corner method, lowest cost entry method or Bogel approximation method, then you have to test whether the solution that we got as initial feasible solution is the optimal one or not. And two tests, stepping stone method and Modi method will help you in that. So you can apply either of the two methods, stepping stone or Modi method, whichever you find easier because both are going to lead you to optimal solution that is minimum transportation cost. What is this optimality? Optimality means the solution that you have got whether it is optimum or not or still there is any other solution it means can you still reduce the transportation cost or not so first method that we will discuss is the stepping stone method but before applying the stepping stone method you have to check the rim requirement now let us see one practical question in which we will see how rim requirement is checked and how the stepping stone method is applied so this is a practical question in which we will see how to apply the stepping stone method. Now before applying the stepping stone method we have to first find out the initial feasible solution that we have seen in the previous videos. Initial feasible solution can be found by either of the three methods northwest corner method, least cost entry method or WEM method. And after calculating initial feasible solution then we will check whether the solution is feasible optimal or not with the help of optimality test. Now before starting the initial feasible solution we have to select the method. If nothing has been written of course we apply the VAM method but the question in which uh, we will start this stepping stone here it is written that you have to apply northwest corner method. So when the method has been specified in the question you have to go ahead with that method. If nothing has been specified in that case, VAM is always the best as it leads to optimal solution at an early stage. So here as it has been specifically written, so I am starting with Northwest Corner method. Let us first see whether the problem is a balanced problem or not. From this side when we are at adding, it comes out to be 215 and from this side as well. So it is a balanced problem. There is no need to introduce the dummy. We can start with Northwest Corner method. In northwest corner method, we start with this northwest corner, first corner. In front of here, availability is 56 while the requirement is 72. So 56 we can make available. So here it will be 0 and here it will be 26. Sorry, it is 16. When we have allotted 56, 72 minus 56 is 16. Now with this, this has become 0, so our first row gets deleted. Now again calculating for the northwest corner, now this is the northwest corner, in front of this 82 and 16. So we will allot 16 as the requirement is only of 16. Now if we have allotted 16 over here, this is going to be 0. And from 82, 16 minus, so it will be 66 left. Now this has become 0, it means this column will be deleted for us. Now this is our northwest corner, here 66 and here 102. So this is going to be 0, so we will make an allotment of 66 over here. And here from 102, 66 will be deducted, it will be 36. So now it this row is going to be 0. Now we have 16 and 24, this is our northwest corner. 36, 77, so we will make an allotment of 36 over here. It will be 0 and here it will be 41 left. Now here, last value is there because this is deleted due to 0. 41, 41, so here 41 allotment will be made. As it was a balanced problem from both the sides, it will be 0. So this is the initial feasible solution that we... Now after calculating this, this initial feasible solution from this table, what we will do is we will write the transportation cost that we just found. So that answer of transportation cost we got from this table is first allotment has been made here. So at AI 4 into 56 it will be 224 then allotment was made here. A2 16 
into 16 and it will be 16 into 16 is 256 then allotment has been made here that is b2 24 into 66 it comes out to be 1584 then allotment has been made here b3 16 into 36 it comes out to be 576 then allotment has been made to c3 24 into 41 it comes out to be 984 so from here we can calculate the transportation cost according to northwest corner method just add these up and it comes out to be 3624 so this is the cost according to northwest corner method now it is the initial feasible solution now with the help of optimality test that is stepping stone we will check whether this cost is optimum or not or is there any scope to reduce this cost further can we reduce this cost further or not that we will check with the help of optimality test that is stepping stone in this video now to apply stepping stone over here first we have to check about the rim requirement now rim requirement for the uh, calculating rim requirement you have to apply this formula m plus n minus 1 m is the number of rows given in the equation 3 n is the number of columns given in the equation 3 minus 1 it comes out to be 5 now you have to see in the equation whether there are 5 rims or not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rims means circles that we have given. So, we have got 5 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. It means our rim requirement is okay. Now, we will write yes. The problem is or the solution is non-degenerate. And we can move ahead with the stepping stone method. If problem is non-degenerate, you can go ahead with stepping stone. If this condition is not satisfied, when they, then there is a different procedure to make this again non-degenerate. If there would have been four circles, then we need to introduce one more circles. That is another step that we will do in the further video. So here our rim requirement is okay. The problem is non-degenerate. We can start with stepping stone method. Now let us apply stepping stone method. To apply stepping stone method, we have to make this table very clearly again. Just these lines should not be there. So you will do the same. After showing this solution, you will be showing this rim requirement condition complete. Then you will be clearly making this table again. So now let us make this table clearly. Now see, we have made uh, this table very clearly now, whatever rims have been given. Now what you have to do is first of all you have to make this thing clear. There are two types of cells in the equation. First cells are the used cells. Used cells means in which these rims are there. So whenever rims are there that will be called used cells or we can call them the occupied cells. The cells in which circles are there. Otherwise we can call them stone squares. So these three words we can use for the used cells. It is a used cell, used cell, used cell, used cell, used cell. So used cells can be called occupied cells or stone cells. Then second type of cells we can see is unused cells in which the squares are not there. These are the empty cells or we can call them unoccupied cells. Or third name given so these cells is water squares so you can use any of the names but it should be clear that in the question there are two types of cells so this is an occupied cell this is an empty cell or water square water square stone square stone square water square water square stone square stone squares so now with the help of these unoccupied cells unused cells we have to proceed with the question so we have to calculate the opportunity cost in case of these unused cells. So how we are going to calculate that? Let us see. We have to go with the unoccupied cells and we have to calculate opportunity cost for these cells. Or we can say opportunity 
cost of water squares water squares means unoccupied cell so this is the first unoccupied cell this else is occupied this is the unoccupied cell so b1 is my first unoccupied cell i'm going to calculate its opportunity cost opportunity cost means whether there are chances that this cost be can be further reduced with any other alternate or not so how we will do this now this is the cell now you have to make the loops here we can called them loops or we can called them closed path two names can be given so we will first prepare the loops for this b i cell b i cell now for preparing the loops there are two conditions it should be a straight line for a loop plus you have to take a turn whenever there is a circle only when there is a circle you can take turn you have to start from the cell you have to come back to this home cell right see now how we will prepare a loop for this cell i told you the condition is you have to start from this cell you have to draw straight line take a turn at the circle only whenever there is a used cell there is a circle you can take a turn so i am taking a turn now here again there is a circle i can take a turn again there is a circle i can take a turn so i am returning back home so this is the loop for cell b1 i repeat again start from the cell which is unused you can draw straight lines then you can take a turn whenever there is a rim here i have started from here on this line then i went here again i could see the circle i took a turn again circle i took a turn and i came back to my original position it can be this loop can be in the form of a square a rectangle anything but it should be straight line and the conditions that i told you should be fulfilled then what next you have to do is always give a plus sign from where you have started second minus sign third plus sign then minus sign so plus minus plus minus always on the corners you have to allot the signs <clears throat> now we will calculate the opportunity cost how we started from here you have to see this the small squares that we created or the transportation cost this 8 is in plus so 8 then we went there minus 24 we have put a minus sign in the cell and the value was 24 then we went here plus 16 this value i am taking corner value plus 16 then we went further minus sign for 4 minus sign for so then you will solve this and the first opportunity cost you will get so it will be 24 minus 24 minus 4 so first the value of b1 opportunity cost comes out to be minus 4 now next unused cell water square after this this was the unused cell c1 so for this again i have to create a loop so to avoid confusion let us just erase this for your convenience also it is recommended whenever you make a loop draw it with a pencil so that you can just erase it later on right so draw it with a pencil and just erase for the next opportunity cost so now to avoid confusion i will just delete this now as we have identified c1 is the second unused cell now again we have to make a path for this now see how can we make this path we have to start from here and we have to come back here so if i can i can start from here i can start from here it is my wish from wherever you go you will be reaching at the same answer there is no difference will be there in the answer so if i go from here i go straight here rim i can take a turn rim i can take a turn again rim i can take a turn again rim i can take a turn again rim i can take a turn and i can come back so we went here 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 then here then here and then we came back start from home just draw straight lines take turns whenever you see any uh, rim it is not compulsory to take a turn but rim should be there whenever you are taking a turn so finally we went there there and we reached at the uh, home only so again i told you plus sign original minus whenever you have taken a turn just put a sign over there plus minus plus minus plus minus plus ultimately you will lead to the same sign so now 
we have to find the opportunity cost we started from here plus 8 then we went here minus we have to see these values corner values minus 24 then we went here plus 16 again we went there minus 24 we went there plus 16 then we went there minus 4 and finally we came here 8 we have already added so we will solve this and we will get the second opportunity cost it calculation give us minus 12 right now next third cell which is unused i can see is c2 this is the cell so again to avoid confusion just clear this out see now this is c2 this is the cell so for here again loop will be there so very easy loop i can see here i have to start from here taking a turn i saw the circle taking a turn i saw the circle taking a turn i saw the circle and i reached here so again i will put some signs from here plus minus plus minus so these values 16 minus 24 plus 16 And minus twenty four, like this. See sixteen minus twenty four plus sixteen minus twenty four. So we have reached here. So it comes out to be minus sixteen. So this comes out to be minus sixteen. Now next cell I can see is the this cell, A three cell, which is an unoccupied cell. So for A three, if you want to make a loop. we will just erase the previous loop now for a3 again loop is very easy we will start from here take a turn take a turn and come back plus sign minus sign plus sign and minus sign like this so we started from here a3 is opportunity cost will be 8 minus 16 plus 24 and minus 16 so you can start from here you can start from here also it will going to give you the same solution so its answer will be will be zero so we have calculated now opportunity cost for the unused cell or for all the unused cell now once you calculate these if you get any negative sign it means there is still a chance that this cost that we have earlier calculated there is a chance that it can be further reduced so we can see negative signs over here very clearly so out of these negative signs you have to choose highest negative minus 4 minus 12 minus 16 0 so the value which is negative but highest so i can see this value is highest but a negative value after selecting this you have to see which cell is this it is c2 this cell now for this cell you have calculated this after making the loop or a closed path so now you have to show that closed path making this table again below after calculating opportunity cost select a cell then again make this table and show this cells loop clearly to the examiner earlier i have told you make a path and you can erase it but now the cell we have chosen now that cells cl uh, closed path or loop you have to very clearly show it to the examiner so now we will just show this path again by making this table now we have to show c2 cell this for this we have created a path like this like this we have gone here and we have come back so very clearly you have to show this path again we have put here plus sign minus sign plus sign minus sign now what next you have to do is you have to see your negative corners these are the plus positive corners these are two negative corners out of these negative corners now you have to observe your rims this is the rim of one negative corner this is the rim of second negative corner out of these two you have to select the minimum one 66 and 41 of course 41 is the minimum what we will do is plus 41 here minus 41 here plus 41 here minus 41 here right now you will not see these transportation cost now you will see the rims plus out of negative corner see the least 41 plus here minus here plus here minus here so now we will make another table and let us see what type of change comes in the table now see i am going to make another table from here here there is no change because loop is here only so this will be the same 4 and 
8 and 8. These cells there will be no change. Here it is again same 16 cost and 16 is the value of rim. Now see here this small cells will not change because I told you the change will come in the rims only. So these small cells we can make we can copy down from the previous table. Now here in these four cells change is going to come. 41 will be reduced from here. 41 will be added here. So reduce 41 from here. 41 minus 41 it will be 0. So you can show it as 0. But in this table we do not show 0. It means there is nothing. Here 41 plus. So where will we add 41? We assume that it was a 0. So here 41 will come here. Here 66. 66 minus 41 it will be 25 over here. And 36 plus 41 it will be 77 over here. Now see what has happened. These values have changed and this cell has gone above. This cell 41 was below now 41 has gone above. Earlier 41 was multiplied by 24 now 41 will be multiplied by 16 that will lead to a lesser transportation cost. Okay, so now this table has been now created with we will have to show again the transportation cost with the help of this table. How we will show that our transportation cost if we want to calculate from this table. So we can show it as transportation cost 4 into 56 that is 224 rupees. 16 into 16, 256 rupees, 24 into 25, which is 600, then is 16 into 41, which is 656, then is 16 into 77, that comes out to be 1, 2, 3, 2. So now let us add these values and see where we have reached the transportation cost. The total of this is 2, 9, 6, 8. So just compare it with your previous transportation cost that we calculated. Earlier from the original table the transportation cost was 3, 6, 2, 4. And now when we have made changes in this table, now the cost has come down to 2968. Still, this is not an opportunity, uh, the best opportunity cost. We have to compare again whether there is a chance for further reducing the cost or not. And if there is a chance, we will try to further reduce the cost with this table. Now, how to know that is there any chance to reduce the cost or not? By calculating opportunity cost from this table again. Now let us just start with this table now. From uh, this table we will start calculating the opportunity cost. Now how we have calculated opportunity cost earlier it will be the same procedure now. How we have done it we have taken the unused cell. So first unused cell is B1. So how to calculate its value we have to create a loop. So loop I can see I can go here then here then here then come back plus minus plus minus so directly I am writing here 8 minus 24 plus 16 minus 4 this will give me the first opportunity cost from here straight line take a turn whenever you see a rim take a turn and come back plus minus plus minus 8 minus 24 plus 16 minus 4 here you have to take these small square values so when you will solve this it will be minus 4 first opportunity cost Second unused cell is this C1. C1 let us make the loop. I can see here we will go then here then here and come back. So just look here I will I'm making like this going straight then I'm going here then I'm going here in between this is coming let it come. I'm not taking a turn from here because I know then I won't be able to take a turn back. So I have gone here then here then here then here but it is not a corner for me corner is this plus minus plus minus so 8 minus 16 plus 16 and minus 4 so this will be 4 opportunity cost for these 4 corners then my unused cell is this now a 
थ्री सो फॉर ए थ्री इफ आई वॉन्ट टू मेक अ लूप दिस 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 एंड कम बैक सो एट माइनस सिक्सटीन प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस सिक्सटी सो इट विल बी लाइक दिस इट विल बी थर्टी टू माइनस थर्टी टू जीरो नाउ दिस इज माई लास्ट अन यूज सेल सी थ्री एंड फॉर दिस इफ आई वॉन्ट टू मेक अ लूप दिस 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 प्लस माइनस प्लस माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस सिक्सटीन प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस सिक्सटीन सो फोर्टी एट माइनस थर्टी टू इट विल बी सिक्सटीन पॉजिटिव सो नाउ इज देर एनी अदर चांस टू रिड्यूज द कॉस्ट फर्दर येस बिकॉज आई कैन सी वन नेगेटिव वैल्यू हेयर वेन एवर यू सी अ नेगेटिव वैल्यू इट मीन्स स्टिल यू कैन रिड्यूज फर्दर यूर कॉस्ट सो नाउ हाउ वी कैन रिड्यूज फ्रॉम द बी वन सेल फ्रॉम दिस सेल आई विल जस्ट इरेज दिस लूप टू अवॉइड द कन्फ्यूजन नाउ वी हैव चोजन दिस बी वन बी वन दिस सो हाउ वी हैव डिजाइन इट्स लूप दिस 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 यू हैव टू शो बिकॉज नाउ दिस हैज बीन चोजन सो हेयर प्लस साइन माइनस साइन प्लस साइन माइनस साइन नाउ वट वी हैव टू डू इज we have to see the negative corners 56 25 which one is minimum 25 so minus 25 from here plus 25 here minus 25 here plus 25 here so then a new table will be designed now let us design another table so we have created a new table you can see on the left hand side another table has been designed now from this table we are making this table i have already written the cost values transportation cost value because changes will be in the rims so now we will reduce 25 from the negative corners and we will add them in the positive corners 56 and 25 minimum was 25 so 56 minus 25 is 31 so i am putting here 31 so here it was nothing zero so zero plus 25 this 25 will come here 25 minus 25 this will go empty and 16 plus 25 it will be 41 that we will write over here so see how this cell has shifted above earlier it was 24 into 25 now it is 8 into 25 so this is how changes come in the table right here there is no change so 41 will be at its own place below also no change 77 will be at its own place now from this table we have created a new table if we want to now compare whether the transportation cost have come down or not of course we can do that how just by comparing the transportation cost so let us just compare the transportation cost uh, with the the previous ones so here now 4 into 31 it is 124 rupees then 8 into 25 200 then 16 into 41 this comes out to be 656 then we have again 16 into 41 656 and in the last we have 16 into 77 that comes out to be 1232 now we can add this up to just see whether the transportation cost have come down or not so the total of transportation cost is 2848 now you can compare it with the previous cost see previous cost earlier it was 3624 in the previous table we have seen it has come down to 2968 rupees and now you can further see it has come down to 2868 this is how optimality tests help you in reducing the cost further now can we reduce this cost further how to know that of course for that you have to see this table calculate the opportunity cost from this table that we have just designed if still something negative comes it means there are still chances to reduce the cost further now from this table again the table has been refined now so again we can calculate the opportunity cost now let us just calculate the opportunity cost from here now opportunity cost is calculated for the unused cells so first unused cell i can see here i see 1c so here if we want to make a loop i can see the loop from here going here then here then here then coming back so 8 minus 16 minus 16 and plus sorry plus 16 minus 4 plus minus plus minus like that 
so it will be 4 rupees then this is the second unused cell second b from here if i want to make a loop go here then here then here and come back so 24 minus 8 plus 4 and minus 16 so this will be positive 4 then third unused cell i can see here 3a and here if i want to make a loop here 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 and come back so 8 minus 4 plus 8 minus 16 so it will be minus 4 and then last is this 3c if we want to make a loop from here then where we have to go we can go here and or we can go here then we can go here then here then here then here then we can come back see this loop very carefully see this 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 and then come back this so any shape it can take it is not necessary that it will take a square shape or a straight line shape see how it is being created we have started from here gone here taking a turn with the rim here and coming back to the original position so here it is positive 24 minus 16 then we have gone here plus 16 on this side and then we have gone above minus 4 then we have come here plus 8 then we have gone down minus 16 and then we have come back to plus 24 so here we can calculate the opportunity cost it will be positive 12 so now from these opportunity cost can we see any negative yes still there is a negative having negative value means that still there is a chance that this transportation cost can be reduced further now from which cell we have got this third a third a it means this cell has the potential of reducing the cost now just let us clear this table to avoid the confusion so now this opportunity uh, cell cost have shown us that this was the cell uh, from where we have designed the loop now we will design this loop in a proper way so we have designed a loop like this then we have moved here then we have come down and then we have gone here this is how we have made the loop for the cell so here plus minus plus minus this now you have to show very clearly now look at the negative corners which one is the minimum value 77 or 31 31 so minus 31 here plus 31 here minus 31 here plus 31 here so we will make another table now to just make changes so now here uh, the small cells value will be same changes will be in the rims so see here the minimum value out of these two we have taken it to be 31 so here plus so 0 plus 31 a new cell 31 will come here 31 minus 31 it will be vanished so 31 will not come here so now next here 31 will be added in 25 which will become 56 now and here 77 out of 77 31 will be reduced which will be 46 these are going this this cell is going to be same again we have uh, the value of 5 rims so at this cell also it will not change because we have just crossed it it was not a corner for us we have just crossed this so this is a new table that we have designed so now if you compare this table's cost then with the previous cost you will see again the cost has come down so we will calculate again the cost let us just check whether the cost has reduced or not so to calculate the cost we can just write in rough here 8 into 56 so 8 into 56 will be 448 rupees second is 16 into 41 so 16 into 41 it is 656 then again 16 into 41 656 here it will be 8 into 31 and here it will be 16 into 44 so it was 16 into 46 so when you will calculate these values 8 into 31 comes out to be 248 and 16 into 46 comes out to be 736 and when we will add this 
the cost comes out to be 2744. So now we want to compare it with the previous costs. Just have a look at the previous costs. These are the previous costs that we have calculated first. Time the cost have come out to be 3624. Then it came down to 2968. You can see in the previous tables. And the third the cost was 2868. And now you can see again the cost has come down to 2744. See how the optimality test is helping us. Now again we have to check whether this answer is the optimal answer or not. And whether there is a chance to further reduce the cost or not. And how we will do that? By calculating the opportunity cost for these cells and just checking whether any negative sign again comes or not. Now let's calculate the opportunity cost from this new table. Now opportunity cost will be calculated as we have done in the previous tables. So opportunity cost is calculated for the unused cell. This is our first unused cell A1. Make a loop of this. I can see a simple loop go here. Then here, then here, then come back. So values will be 4 minus 8, 4 minus 8, plus 16 and minus 8. So this will be 20 minus 16. This will be positive 4. So opportunity cost for every unused cell will be calculated. The second unused cell is this, C1. For this, if you want to make a loop, just check how we can make a loop. We can go here. And then we can go here and then we can go here, then here, then here and then come back. This is the only option. So see, I'm making it like this. I'm going here, then I'm going here, then I'm going here, then going above, then coming back. So I will put signs over here. 8 plus, so taking a turn here, so minus 16 plus 16 coming down, minus 8. Again taking a turn, plus 16 going above minus 8 and then plus 8 that we have already done so its answer will be 8. Now the third cell that is not occupied is B2 this cell. So for this again I can see a very simple loop here 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 here. So 24 minus 16 plus 8 minus 16 so it will be 0. Then this is the last unused cell uh, C3. From here again you can see a very simple loop here, here, here and coming back. So 24 minus 8 plus 16 and minus 16. So this comes out to be 16 only. So now I can see all my values have become positive. There is no negative value in my opportunity cost. It means the table that we have just designed. This is the table of optimum solution and my transportation cost is minimum as per this table. So finally, I will show my transportation cost, which is the least possible cost. So this is my optimum table. So from this cell, my cost comes 8 into 56. That is rupees 448. The second used cell is this. So it is A2 cell in which cost is 16 into 41 and 16 into 41 is 656. Then this is the used cell C2 and here again cost is 16 into 41 that is rupees 656. This is the used cell A3 and the cost is 8 into 31 that is 248 rupees and then last is this cell this is B3 and here the cost is 16 into 46 and the figure comes out to be 736. Now we will add these costs and this total comes out to be 2744 which is the optimum solution. Now you can just see these are below the previous costs that we have got. When we have drawn the northwest corner method we have got rupees this much cost then the cost then how the cost is reducing at every stage. So every stage of optimality test helps us in reducing the cost and finally we reach at the table 
where the transportation cost is minimum. So this is our final table and this is the final minimum transportation cost after applying the optimality test of stepping stone method.